Before his resignation, former Minister Hachiro visited areas around Fukushima Daiichi and described the area as a city of death. He also joked with journalists, saying some dirt he got on his sleeve may be radioactive. Japan's science ministry collected soil samples in June and July at some 2,200 locations within a 100-kilometer radius of Fukushima Daiichi. It then tested for radioactive cesium. The ministry released a map showing the extent of the contamination. Researchers identified the highest level of radiation in a location in Okuma. They found 15.45 million becquerels of cesium-137 per square meter of land. The location is several hundred meters from the nuclear plant. Cesium contamination levels exceed 1.48 million becquerels at 33 other locations within a 30-kilometer radius of Fukushima Daiichi. Following the Chernobyl disaster, authorities kept areas with similar radiation readings off-limits. At that time, people in areas contaminated with 555,000 becquerels of cesium per square meter were required to temporarily relocate. The latest survey shows researchers have identified 66 locations with soil contamination exceeding that level. Some of them are outside the government set no-go and evacuation zones. All the more, don't you think the Japanese government should have disclosed the concrete results of the survey much earlier? Yes, uh, many experts have been urging the government to release such maps uh, since right after the accident. But this was a survey of 2,200 locations. Five samples of soil were taken from each location, so as a, to a total of 12,000 samples had to be analyzed one by one. 340 researchers from 21 universities and research institutions across Japan took part in the survey. It took time to secure manpower and machine. That's why it took so long to release the map. It's almost been six months since the accident, but the release of the soil contamination map only marks the beginning of radioactive cleanup efforts. Japan's health ministry has detected radioactive cesium in batches of tea leaves from two prefectures neighboring Tokyo. The leaves come from Chiba and Saitama prefectures and exceed the government safety limit for radioactive substances. It's the first discovery of radioactive substances beyond the legal limit since the ministry began unannounced tests of food products last month. The tests were aimed at verifying local municipalities' data using different numbers and types of food samples. The ministry says the leaves of one type of tea from Chiba contained 2,720 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram, more than five times the safety limit. Meanwhile, as much as 1,530 becquerels per kilogram was detected in three kinds of tea leaves from Saitama. The municipal governments where the teas were produced say they will investigate where the leaves were grown and how much has made its way to market. Japan's Saitama Prefecture has asked tea producers to avoid shipping tea made from young leaves until they are confirmed safe. The request came on Tuesday after the health ministry detected radioactive cesium above government safety levels in local tea products. Inspections by the ministry during the past week found over 500 becquerels of cesium per kilogram of processed tea in the towns of Hidaka and Tsurugashima. Saitama says the tea was made from young leaves that can easily accumulate cesium. The prefectural government says that its own tests have failed to find unsafe levels of cesium. Those tests did not include young leaves. A Japanese expert is calling on the government to make thorough checks on wild plants and animals for radioactive contamination. The move comes after the recent discovery of high levels of radioactivity in a kind of mushroom and a wild boar. 
Following the Fukushima nuclear accident, the central government set safety limits on radioactive substances in food. On September 3rd, a species of mushroom found in a forest in Fukushima Prefecture was discovered to contain 28,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram, an amount far above the safety limit. A wild boar was also found to have radiation amounts about six times the safety limit. Gakushuin University professor Yasuyuki Muramatsu says radioactive cesium in soil and fallen leaves in forests is easily absorbed by mushrooms and edible plants. He explains that high levels of radiation accumulate in wild boars like boars, wild animals like boars when they eat the contaminated items. The professor adds that wild fauna and flora across Europe have been affected by radiation from the Chernobyl accident. He believes detailed studies should be carried out in Fukushima to examine the impact of the nuclear accident on local plants and animals. For an assessment of what is happening with the evacuees in Fukushima, we asked Professor Murosaki of Kansei Gakuin University what kind of support he thinks should be given as they await any sign that they may be able to go home. It's certain these people won't be returning anytime soon. Instead of continuing to put up temporary structures, the government should build houses where people can live for the rest of their lives. Residents should again be able to live in proximity to the people from their old neighborhoods. If we start now, the new communities could be ready in about a year. Those folks deserve a decent living environment. With a new prime minister, we've reached a turning point. The government should avoid vague messages like, we'll give consideration to Fukushima, or we'll work toward rebuilding it. What it should do is deliver concrete statements, such as, we will reconstruct Fukushima, whatever the cost. I propose the government move some of its main facilities to the nuclear disaster areas to prove it's safe. Maybe even the diet should go there. Fukushima should become known for model communities.